Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex from Advanced Protective Films. I just wanted to follow up on a IG story that I had posted back in September of 2023. This is in regards to my slip solution burning the adhesive on some PPF. So I wanted to show you guys what it was. So the soap solutions I have here are Johnson's Baby Shampoo, Fusion Tools Ultra Clear All Type Mounting Solution, Spider Spit, and 7th Generation. When I originally posted this finding to my IG stories, a lot of people were surprised and asked me what brand of PPF I was using that had this issue. I didn't really mention the brand, however I did say that no matter what brand it was, all of them encountered the same burning issues with this particular soap. Keep in mind that the soap slip solution that I had was pure concentrated product, which is applied directly onto the adhesive of the PPF. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, this is brand new PPF. There's no slip solution on this, so it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's bare, it's raw. So I'm gonna take my Johnson baby soap, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little dot right there. And then I'm going to take my Fusion Tools, uh, oh, that's brand new, my Fusion Tools, uh, Fusion Tools uh, mounting solution. I'm going to put a little drop right here. Or, whoop, okay, that's not a little drop. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to pour 91% alcohol directly onto the film just to see what happens. I've got my spider spit. And I've got my seventh gen soap. The seventh gen and the spider spit, I'm gonna make a circle just so you guys can identify which one is seventh gen and which one is spider spit. All right, cool. So I don't know how long it's been um, from the first soap that I put down of Johnson baby soap to the seventh gen. What is that like maybe 15, 20 seconds? So as that's uh, eating through the PPF, I'm gonna go get some water so I can squirt all the solution off. All right, so I believe about 30 seconds had passed. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna flush all the solution off. All right, I think you guys can kind of see the results. You can kind of see the results of what happened here. So the alcohol right down the middle, obviously 90% pure, 91% pure alcohol burned right through the adhesive. That's kind of a given, I think we all know that. We usually do not pour bare alcohol straight on a PPF. I purposely put this in the middle as a divider so you guys can determine uh, you guys can identify the two different slip solutions on each side. So as you guys can see, the Johnson Baby Shampoo and the, the Fusion Tools uh, mounting solution did not burn the adhesive. Um, if you look over here, this is the spider spit right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it did, it did burn the film a little bit, but it's just really hard to see. It's very, very light, which is, which is okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if, if I move the film around, if you guys can see. And as you guys can see, there's my seventh generation circle that I created. So that was just as strong as the alcohol. Well, no, sorry. That's a, that's a seventh generation soap. So. 
I think you guys have already come to a conclusion to determine what soap burnt my adhesive. Um, just want to give you guys uh, a heads up that I did use this soap and I tested this on all the different films that I have I, I was able to get my hands on and this did burn every film so I hate to say this so unfortunately I stopped using seventh generation um, just for safety um, if I diluted this down with a bottle of water so you know you get your uh, filter di water and then you put a couple of drops in there and you shake it up and that you turn that into slip solution um, then that's no problem at all I have not had any issues with the film being burnt it was just when I put bare soap directly onto the PPF uh, directly onto the adhesive that's when I had the issue so just in case you guys wanted to see I don't know if this is shining through the camera or if you guys are able to see the results on the camera but hopefully you guys can see something so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys um, the Johnson baby shampoo was on there the longest the seventh generation soap was on there the least amount of time uh, when I flushed all the soaps off you guys saw the results um, like I was saying, I don't have any other soaps to test out. If you guys may want to test those out yourself. Um, but then again, keep in mind, this was bare soap directly touching bare adhesive. So there was no dilution. There was no water down 